Hey guys, well it's the 3rd of August in 2024. I'm here in Sunny Beach in the southeast of Bulgaria and I'm going to do you a guided tour today and tell you some tips and tricks here, some money saving tips, ways that you can save money when you're here on your holidays here. And um, I'm also going to tell you about the dark side here and the things that you need to watch out for when you're here in Sunny Beach to make sure that you are not overcharged and to make sure that you do not spend too much money. I'm going to tell you the scams that you need to avoid when you're here on holiday as well and um, everything so you're fully prepared before you come out here on, on your holidays so you have an even better holiday so you have a brilliant holiday. So this train's very useful, it's only six lever, it's less than three pounds and it will take you from Sunny Beach South here right to Flower Street in the centre and further down towards Nessabar Way right down to Nessabar so you can get from A to B very very easily on this, um, on this train that goes up and down and another, another cheaper option is you can get the bus and the bus is only two lever, which is one pound. And you go on the road behind here and there's lots of bus stops up and down and you can get the bus on a regular basis. Every 15 or 20 minutes, there'll be buses going from here to um, Nessabar one way and to Sveti Vlas the other way. So don't use taxis when you're here on the street. Um, they will try and overcharge you by a ridiculous amount of money. Taxis are very, very expensive in this part of Bulgaria and they will just try it on for anything. They just want to take every single penny out of your pocket. They see you a tourist being like money. Uh, they see you as being money and that taxi driver will ask you for 40 lever for a small taxi ride. Um, to get to the airport, they might ask you for 70, 80, 90 lever. I've seen it all here, but the taxi drivers um, are quite dishonest here. They charge you a lot of money here to get taxis. So uh, that is something that you need to consider. Try the buses. Um, you know, it's well worth spending two lever on a bus ride and waiting for 10 minutes to get a bus. Um, the buses can be overcrowded and I've seen reports online about pickpocketing on crowded buses here on the route between Nessibar and Sunny Beach. So be careful with your pockets, um, have your things sealed away, maybe wear a bum bag or something like that and um, make sure your money is in a secure place if you are getting the bus. Um, that's just something to be careful with here as well. Um, in terms of shopping here and everything else, um, there's lots of shops up and down the seafront. Um, Sunny Beach is one of the best places for shopping in Europe in terms of buying counterfeit fake copies. Um, some of the copies are good quality and some are poor quality. Some of the copies are made in Turkey and the ones that are made in Turkey tend to be better quality and some of the ones are made in China. The ones that are made in China are poor quality generally. But you, you'll have to feel the material at the shops and you'll have to check them out and see which ones are good and bad copies. Really, it's 50-50, it's you have to shop around. Um, some of them are actually imported from Turkey and then in the Bulgarian villages, they sew on the logo. So it's really nice. There's some work for uh, local people in the, in the country villages and they have factories in the villages and they sew the designer logos onto the um, items here in Bulgaria, which is wonderful, really. And the thing about buying copies and everything else is the quality is not the same as the real ones. So, for example, I bought two bags and the zip has broken on both bags very, very quickly. As soon as I got back to Poland, um, I bought a bag to take back there and the zip broke. And I, I, bought, um, I bought a big wallet as well for carrying my sunglasses in. It's like a big wallet bag and the zip, blow, the zip broke. I'd, I'd used it about three or four times and the lady refused to refund me any money back or to fix it for me. It was the shop next door to the Palm in the center of Sunny Beach. So I was really, really disappointed. Um, I bought some t-shirts that are good quality and I've still got them from two years ago. Um, so I was happy with, um, with some of them. And then I got some other ones that I got here in May and they kind of shrunk in the wash. Hey man. <laughs> And um, yeah, they shrunk in the wash and everything. So I was disappointed with some of them, but some of them are really good quality. So it's 50-50, it's all mixed. You have to compare the quality of the store you go to as well. So some parts of the beach here, like the sunbeds here, you have to pay. These sunbeds here are 10 lever, which is uh, less than five pounds, about four pound 50 or five pounds for a sunbed. And you have to pay for the parasol as well. That's also 10 lever, which is um, about four pound 50 for a parasol. Like. If you look up and down the beach here, there's free areas of the beach where you can sunbathe for free. And there's other areas of the beach where you pay to go on that area of the beach. So I brought my towel and I was on the beach and he said, no, this is a pay area. So the guy came over to me, asked me for money, even though I wasn't using a bed or an umbrella. So make sure you find out where the free area is of the beach so you can go to the free area and you're not in the pay area. 
Also, one thing about the bars and the restaurants here, um, this actually happened at this restaurant, the uh, Helena Sands Beach Bar, a few years ago. I went in and the same guy, he was working there for a few years in a row, Bulgarian guy, and he gave me the wrong change. Um, he gave me change in some coins in Ukrainian money. So I knew it was from there because I'd just arrived and I'm very careful with these things. I've traveled to 65 countries now, so I know a scam when I've seen one. And um, the, chain was in, the change was in Ukrainian money. So make sure you familiarize, familiarize yourself with Bulgarian coins. Um, I came here in May again last time after a night out and some days out and somehow I've got Ukrainian and Czech money in my wallet, which is really strange, but obviously I've not checked my change very carefully, especially when you've had a drink. Always ask for a receipt when you go to these bars and restaurants. Overcharging is rife here in Sunny Beach. I've been overcharged and given the wrong change in so many different places here. It is a really, really big problem. Check your change very, very carefully. Ask for a receipt at every different bar you go to and every different restaurant. Um, check the prices on the menu before you order. I went to a place called Hawaii in May. I was double charged the price on the menu. I was charged double the price. Um, so they said it was last year's menu. So even though I checked the menu and the price before I ordered, they said it was um, they said it was last year's menu. So there's nothing you can do in that situation. Just fight your case and um, and just just show them it and tell them that you'll expose them. That's what I did. I exposed them up with a YouTube video on here so other people don't get scammed in this way, like double charged. Um, last year's menu, if they say that to you, that is just a, a, a scam and it's a sales line. It's just a sales line to make an excuse for why they've overcharged you. Um, it's just a way for them to make extra money treating you like a tourist in that way because it is a tourist resort and this would happen to you in tourist resorts all over Europe the same, not just here. This happened to me in Alanya as well. It's happened in a number of different places. So in terms of restaurants here, you can get some absolutely fantastic food here in Bulgaria. The seafood and the fish is absolutely delicious. Uh, the meat's good quality here and you can get good quality food here. Um, you can't really get Indian food here. My favorite food is Indian food and I couldn't find an Indian restaurant in the whole of Sunny Beach. Unbelievable, like you go to Spain or you go to Portugal or whatever and you know, uh, you go to these countries and there's Indian restaurants everywhere and you can get Indian food. British people love Indian food and I couldn't find any Indian food anywhere here. Um, also Chinese food, I only found one Chinese restaurant here. I couldn't find any Korean food. Um, that was that was strange. I couldn't find a Mexican restaurant here actually. So that's a criticism actually. I just couldn't find a Mexican restaurant anywhere in the resort. Um, no Spanish restaurants here. So um, when I go to Spain, they have more variety. They have restaurants from like uh, India, China, Argentina with natives from that country that are cooking the food for you. And that's what you can get in Spain and Portugal that you probably can't get here. Um, another thing to raise awareness about is um, this year there's been quite high inflation. I was on the promenade, for example, in the Cabana Bar and it's seven lever now for a pint of beer. So it's similar price to what I pay in my local pub, like in the suburbs, 20 minutes from Liverpool. And I pay for a pint of Carlsberg, I pay about £3.30. But if you go back from the beach, go back from the beach onto the main road and just a little bit back, and you can get some absolute bargains where you can get a pint of beer for a very, very reasonable price, maybe for four or five lever or something like that, because you're going back from the beach. When you're on the front line here, expect to pay a higher price because you're paying for the sea view. Um, you're paying because you're, you're here on the front line. Now, Bulgarian is a very, very difficult language to speak for foreigners. Um, foreigners can't speak, it's, it's the Cyrillic alphabet and it's a very, very difficult language. To say thank you, you can just say merci, that is slang for thank you here, It'll make it a bit easier for you. But Bulgarian is one of the most difficult languages in the whole world, so that will be difficult for you. I suggest you download an application called Google Translate and you'll need that. Some of the menus are in Bulgarian, but the people here speak, everybody here speaks very good English. I've had no language problems at all. Um, when I used to live in Spain, I had some language problems before I learned Spanish. The people didn't speak good English when I was in Spain, but here in Bulgaria, the people do speak um, very good English. One thing to watch out for here in the restaurants is when you see the prices for 100 grams. So if the price is listed for 100 grams, then you know that is just the price for 100 grams. So when you have some fish, for example, the fish might be 400, 500 grams. So maybe it's six lever for 100 grams, but it would be five times six lever if you have 500 grams, which is a normal portion. 
So what they do, it tends to be really, really confusing when you look at the restaurant menus here and for meat and for fish, and they're listing that price on weight. The price here is done on weight. So you must remember that. And um, the price, you get a few surprises. I, I saw some pasta on the menu for seven lever, but it was actually, you know, more like 21 lever because it's 300 grams of pasta. So I was totally confused when I first arrived here. Um, that's just one of the examples. Now, it, you have to ob obey the laws of the country when you come to a country. Here, you must have your ID with you at all times. You must have your passport or driving license with you at all times. The police can stop you and ask you for ID and you'll get a fine or you'll be in trouble if you don't have your ID with you. But if you're worried about your um, passport being stolen, given it's a holiday resort, then just take a photograph of a photograph of your passport, a photocopy of your passport, sorry, and a photocopy of your passport will be enough. In terms of hotels here, you need to watch out for these all-inclusive hotels because when you book an all-inclusive holiday here in Bulgaria, the, the food is really poor quality in the all-inclusive hotel. And I've tried all of these all-inclusive hotels here and the food outside of the hotel is good quality in the restaurants, very good quality, but the food in the hotel was poor quality because you've already paid in advance, so there's no obligation for them to give you good quality food in the hotel. Also, if you order all-inclusive at your hotel, be aware that that's local alcohol. That's not all the brands that you want to drink. You can't get Corona beer, Heineken beer, Stara Pram and whatever you want. That's just the local beer. And the hotel said it's a beer with no name. It's just a local beer with no name. And it wasn't really very nice. And then I was drinking the whiskey. It was the same, the whiskey, it's a local whiskey. It doesn't even taste like whiskey. It was in, you know, you couldn't even drink it really, to be honest with you, but I recommend you 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 rent you do do stay in a hotel here because the hotels are good here very good hotels but just get yourself a room in the hotel and um, you, you don't have to worry about doing all inclusive or anything like that because there's thousands and thousands of good restaurants here all over the resort there's so many good restaurants here now in terms of airport transfers I recommend you get the bus just go to the roundabout which is uh, in front of the airport and there's buses every half an hour or every 40 minutes and that will take you directly to sunny beach for seven lever which is about three pound thirty and then you're through cheaply to your hotel now watch out for extra charges in your hotel as well guys because for example I stayed in a hotel in May and there's an extra charge of six lever a day to use the safe in the hotel so like you're on holiday and you just don't know do you You're leaving money around your room so you think yeah I'll pay for the safe but it's six lever a day in the hotel to pay for the safe so you pay for a lot of different things when you arrive here um, that's the same in other countries as well but you do have to watch out for that and obviously um, extra charges for the gym. Um, the gym is 15 lever a day in the Hotel Glarus. The gym is 15 lever a day in the Hotel Smartline Meridian. So although you've got a good deal in the hotel, maybe if you come in the low season, you're paying every day to use the gym. Um, I found a cheap gym called the Diamond Gym and it was nothing special, but it was five lever to use the gym every time. Every time you use it, it's five lever. So that's a really good deal. That's the cheapest that I found. Um, most of the gyms here in the hotels are really expensive. In terms of the weather in Bulgaria, you need to know that it's a short season here. It's absolutely brilliant here. I mean, it's my favorite place for a summer holiday, but you can only come here in the summertime. You can come here in May time to October time. If you come here in the winter time, you don't get winter sun. It's not sunny here in the winter, guys. It's not the same as Cyprus and Egypt and the climates like uh, the south of Spain or something. This is a summer holiday resort. And the location where you stay is very, very important because taxis are very expensive here. So stay in a very good location, centrally located. If you're going out at nighttime on the strip, on Flower Street, on the Bar Street, make sure you stay near to Flower Street because a taxi home every single night, the taxi drivers, they'll ask you for 30, 40, 50 lever, anything they want, and you'll spend a lot of money getting home. So I stay near to the Flower Street because I'm going out to the pub at night. And that way I can walk everywhere in the day. I can get the bus everywhere in the day. But at night time, you need to get home from the pub, don't you? So you need to think, think ahead about things like that as well before you come here. Um, in terms of hiring a car, um, road safety and fatalities is some of the highest in Europe here. So the roads, I'd say, are not so safe here. 
Um, the roads in some parts of Bulgaria are in poor condition. Um, there's been a lot of crashes and fatalities. It's the second highest in Europe last time I checked it um, over the last decade in terms of car crashes. So that's something to think about. You're, you're British maybe and you're wanting to drive in a foreign country and it might be risky for you driving on the wrong side of the road and everything else too. Um, it's also because, because of driver safety, but also because of poor road conditions. That's why there's so many fatalities in terms of that type of thing as well. And be aware that your insurance covers you for everything. So if you're going on the quad bikes, for example, make sure that your insurance covers you for the quad bikes. If you're going out in the mountains on the Jeep Safari, make sure your, your, your insurance covers mountain rescue and make sure you've signed those documents correctly if you're booking insurance through the travel agent here when you're booking your in, uh, excursions as well. Make sure that you have travel insurance now. This is no, Britain, Britain is no longer part of the European Union. This is European Union. So make sure that you have international travel insurance that covers all European Union countries when you're here on holiday and um, make sure it includes things like the helicopter to, to, to collect you in case you're doing excursions that might be risky like jet skiing or going out on the mountains on the quad bikes or whatever else. Now the currency here is Bulgarian lever. Many, many people are totally confused about the currency here when they first arrive. So just go on 50%. So for example, 10 lever would be less than five pounds. It would be about four pound 50. But if you call it five pounds, then at least you know where you are when you're out on a night out and you're not confused. Um, inflation here is very, very high here now in 2024. The prices have totally changed. Five or 10 years ago, really, you couldn't spend any money here. It was so cheap. Now the prices are totally different. Um, you can spend five lever some places here for a coffee. Um, it's, it's not cheap like it was before. Um, everything you buy here now is more. Um, for example, when you're buying an ice cream, it's done on weight here. So you buy an ice cream and just ask them for a small ice cream, ask them for one scoop, because if not, it's done on weight and you might end up with three scoops and then you're paying a lot of money. It would be really, really expensive for the ice cream of that weight. So that's why it's expensive because you're getting more scoops and it's done on weight, you see. Um, so that's something you need to be aware of. But in general, when you're shopping for fakes and everything else, and you're going to all the shops here, prices are negotiable here in Bulgaria. You need to negotiate, negotiate with people in the shops. They might ask you for 40 lever for a t-shirt and you offer them 30 lever and you might pay 35 lever for that t-shirt, but you'll get yourself a discount by negotiating for sure, guys. Yeah, in terms of the weather here in July now, right now, it's been about 32, 33 degrees every single day. Make sure you bring sun cream with you as well, because sun cream is very, very expensive here in Bulgaria. I mean, very, very expensive. And also you don't know if it's a fake sun cream or a real sun cream, because some, there were some reports about people buying sun cream and it was fake sun cream. They got very burnt. So I, I buy my sun cream in Poland for three euro for a big sun cream. I buy my after sun in Poland as well, and I bring it with me. And that's a very, very good money saving tip for you as well. Any branded things tend to be very expensive here. Products like Nivea, Adidas deodorants and shower gels, and they tend to be very expensive here, much more than what you'll pay back home. Bring your own shower gel with you, bring your face cream with you, bring your deodorants with you, your hairspray with you. Bring all of those things here with you because they are not cheap here. Here on the pr promenade here, there's all these little mini markets and they charge more than double the price of a normal supermarket. So I would, I would go back, just turn to the right side here, go to the second road behind, and that's where you've got the normal supermarkets on the road behind. There's a little supermarket if you go behind this building, for example, and further on, just find the proper big supermarkets. I've been told by the Bulgarians, the cheapest supermarket here is the tea market near to Nesabar. There's also a Janet supermarket at the end of Flower Street. That is quite reasonable. It's not as cheap as in the UK as some of our supermarkets or it's not as cheap as the supermarkets in Poland but it's quite reasonable um, you're looking at the Lidl um, the Lidl is quite reasonable but it's not as cheap as Lidl in Germany for example or Lidl in Britain um, supermarkets do tend to be on the expensive side here um, one example is just a bottle of water see it here on the promenade will cost you two and a half lever or three lever for a bottle of water um, but a bottle of water in the Janet supermarket costs one lever, which is like 50p. So it's a huge saving. I looked at products made by famous brands like Muller, 
and um, famous food products with the brands and they were really expensive they were well more well more than what I pay in Poland for example in terms of flying here I mean I think it's cheaper for you to book a package holiday with somebody like Jet2 Holidays or Balkan Holidays um, if you're coming from the UK it's definitely cheaper for you to book a, a package holiday over here um, just tends to be a better deal the flights have been very expensive coming over this year especially June July August and September um, the airlines that do flights here direct are Wizz Air and Ryanair you can fly here with Wizz Air or you can fly here with Ryanair and they're the main airlines that fly here from the UK Jet2 also fly here from uh, Manchester Airport for example and my flight from Poland to here took 1 hour and 40 minutes so it's nice and close it was a very quick flight and the flight from Britain takes about three and a half hours to get here to, uh, to Bulgaria. So guys, for more of my guided tours from Bulgaria, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L, and you'll see all of my guided tours from all the best holiday resorts here in Bulgaria. Guys, please give me some likes and some comments as well, because it helps the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.